Have you ever spilled a little alcohol on your hands? Notice the cooling effect? Yeah, I bet you did. That is because it takes heat to convert a liquid to a gas. In the case of alcohol evaporating, that heat comes from the skin. Well, how about smearing some alcohol on uh, the head of the penis? Never thought of that? Well, producers of Eroxon, a treatment for erectile dysfunction that is available in Europe, not yet in North America, well, they've thought about it. And they've come up with a formula that actually has been clinically tested and shown to have at least some efficacy. The rationale is that alcohol produces rapid cooling followed by a slower warming, and uh, this change in temperature stimulates nerve endings causing the release of neurotransmitters. These then prompt an increase in blood flow to the penis. The neurotransmitter talked about is nitric oxide, the one that is responsible for the action of Viagra. However, there is no evidence that eroxone causes nitric oxide to be released. But never mind the speculative theory, the question is whether the stuff actually works. Two studies have been carried out. In the first one, 250 men used eroxone, and in 60% of cases, erection was achieved in 10 minutes. In the second study, eroxone was compared with Tadalafil, a prescription oral medication for erectile dysfunction. While Tadalafil performed better, Eroxon still had roughly 60% success rate. Well, it isn't exactly clear what that 60% means. The study says that it is the percent of users that exceeded the, quote, minimal clinically important difference. That's somewhat ambiguous. It would be useful to have uh, harder evidence. The ingredients in Eroxon are listed as water, 35% ethanol, propylene glycol, glycerin, carbamur, and potassium hydroxide. The propylene glycol, glycerin, carbamur, and potassium hydroxide all serve to produce a thick gel in which the alcohol is embedded. I imagine the gel controls the rate of evaporation. Well, there's a question that now arises. Couldn't you just rub a little rubbing alcohol on the tip of the organ in question, get the same result? I really don't know. Maybe you can. There is a science project. And that for today is our Kappa Joe.